uh, we drew this church and all those who visit us and all those who are watching us with the peace of the Lord. At this time, I would like to invite the brothers to open the word of the Lord in the book of Luke. Luke chapter 12. We're going to read some verses uh, starting on 35. Luke 12, 35. Gospel of Luke, chapter 12, verse 35. Are the brothers found it? Amen. Let's read the word of the Lord. It says, Let your waist be girded. And your lamps be burning, and yourself be like men who wait for their master when he will return from the wedding, that when he comes and knocks, they might open to him immediately. Blessed are those servants whom the master, when he comes, will find him, watch him. As suddenly I say that you that will grid himself and have them sit down to eat and will come and serve them. And if he should if he uh, should come in the second watch or the third watch, find him so blessed are those servants. But know this that if the master of the house had known that what time the thief would come he would have washed and not allowed his house to be broken into it. Therefore, you also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming in an hour you do not expect. Let's also read uh, verse 43. Blessed is the servant whose his master will find so doing when he comes. Amen. Let's glorify the name of the Lord. Oh Lord, uh, we want to thank you. Thank you, Lord, uh, because we have already received our victory. When we heard your voice, that's why we thank you. And we say, stay with us. So our blessing could be even better. We pray in the name of Jesus. Uh, we can sit down. <laughs> My brothers, uh, the word of the Lord for us tonight. It, it's, it talks about a, a topic that's very um, contemporary. A, uh, it's a subject that we are studying right now in the morning school, Sunday school. It talks about um, the coming back of Jesus. And for the church. To, come, to talk about Jesus coming back. It is when we talk about our hope. We talk about what we, we wish for every day and what we wait for every day. And here in Luke, um, the Lord Jesus himself, he's been giving uh, some advice to the church. And we're going to listen from now on. We're gonna listen a lot about the Jesus, about Jesus coming back. About how those who knows the word of the Lord should take care of themselves. And in some text, uh, text of the Bible says the following: Those who are dirty, dirt will be. for the boss to be well known no that there's no more time 
Oh no, but I'm just gonna... There's an expression that we heard these days. And we actually uh, give it to one of us. Yeah, everything. Uh, we can do everything. Oh, but there's no problem to walk this way. Or that way. There's no problem. But yeah, there's no problem. That's right. When the Lord recommends. Oh, take it over your hand, over your name, how the candles uh, should go. Um, lighting up. Is everybody like that? No. Does everybody have their candles um, on? No. That's why the recommendation of the Lord. You know, it's, it's to understand the, the following that it is possible to do everything. There's no problem. No, there's no problem. If you don't want to live in eternity. But if you, if you want to go to heaven with the Lord, and the heaven, no, you cannot do all things. And that is what we need to understand. There's no such a way to come in heaven. There's a path. Like the word says, this is the path. Walk on it. There's a path for this. The Lord was giving some uh, uh, signs tonight. Two signs was related to men that came in here tonight. And the signs <coughs> it talks about good men, good citizens, good people. They do everything right. Listening to this, uh, this gift that the Lord gave, we remember how uh, one day Jesus um, he found a man just like that, and he goes to Jesus and says, "Look, good master, what do I gotta do to have the eternal life?" And the Lord Jesus looked at him and says, "Oh, do you follow the commandments?" Yes. But when the Lord and the end, everything was right, but in the end, Jesus goes and talks about a subject and says, Go, sell everything you got, give to the poor, come and follow me. And then, my brother, he, he puts him in a humane situation. That's why it's fragile. Because we all want to go to heaven. We want to go to eternity. But we don't want to leave the things that we mostly love here. We don't want to leave many times uh, what the Lord uh, many times wants us to leave. Uh, because we got to understand that those things um, is not going to take us to salvation. These things are not going to go to eternity with you. And we don't need here to be uh, citing one detail or number. Because the Holy Spirit and the Lord is talking to every single part right here. The Lord might sometimes asking you, might be asking you something that you might not be asking of some other brother. The word says, when the Lord, when the Lord gives a lot, the Lord also asks a lot. And Signal describes that people they're good, just like um, 
Just like Jesus uh, found the, uh, the man. The Bible says he was uh, a man with quality. He was a man with qualities. But the word says that he didn't want to give away all the things that he had because he was a, a man that had many goods. So let's say right here, if you have many goods, we're not we're not telling you if you have goods to sell and give it to the poor, no. But we we're talking about what is not the first place in your life. The Lord Jesus, if He wants to be the first place in your life, what's missing for us to be in eternity with the Lord? To have the salvation, guarantee our ticket. It is to have uh, Jesus as the first place. It is to have the, the Lord in the first place. We are well known about the word of the Lord. We are well known at the moment that we are living in right now. We know how many trim, uh, trumpets uh, were, seen, were played. Even um, after knowing the, the, the word, we are actually talking about this right now. And the word uh, tonight, it talks about this uh, vigilance. It says, if, if the, the household, if the houseman knew what time the thief was going to come, he was going to watch it. Uh, the Lord Jesus gives this recommendation saying like only the father knows what time but we know that the Lord Jesus it is by the door because all the signs were fulfilled there is nothing left and in reality we want the, the Lord Jesus we want and, and tonight the Lord wants to give a blessing to some those who need to have their their clothes for salvation ready they need to put themselves into the Lord and say oh Lord I need to go to eternity what am I missing we need to put um, to the Lord uh, your heart and fix that. Many, um, for sure, they read a little more the word. They dedicated themselves a little more to the Lord. In the rush of our daily basis, we have many necessities. We need to gain our money, take care of our house, take care of our family. But we can never, we can never get sick spiritually, because in heaven, there's no place for sickness. In the heaven, it's gonna play, it's gonna be a place for healthy people. And when we say healthy, we say a spiritual health. The brother needs to have a spiritual health. The sister, me, we all need to be to have a spiritual health. We need to have what is needed. So whenever the Lord comes back, He'll find us um, glorifying like this, praying, reading the Bible, and fasting, um, early dawn, and listening to the word of the Lord. I thought it was really interesting uh, the the song that the kid sings that it says, "Do you know?" Do you know what salvation? They just sing this, right? And the and the church was singing. If tonight the Lord was to ask about you for your soul, because there are two situations. One, the 
The rapture. That could happen in this time. And another thing is that we're caught in surprise. We we'll never know. Oh, where is? Oh, where is that person? Oh, he went to the Lord. Isn't it like this our life? What's different? What's different? And it is for this situation that we need to be ready. Because it says the song, If tonight the Lord asks for your, for your soul, what do you have prepared? What is it going to be for? What is it worth? To have everything? But look, oh, this I'm not going to get rid of. Get rid of it, you know? Oh, I, I cannot change this thing. Oh Lord, there is no way like this, I won't do it. And, uh, and Paul used to say, those things that I don't want, those are the things I do. He used to do things that he didn't want to do. Why? Because the Lord would ask. And Paul, he only feels like he asks some stuff to the Lord and the Lord said, Oh look, that's not good for you. My, my grace is enough. And we need to understand that we're going to have to live in eternity with some things that the Lord is not going to give us. Today I was talking to, um, to a friend and then she was saying, oh, there are those days that we don't even feel like getting out of the house, you know, we work, we're tired, we just want to stay home. But we remember, oh, today's the day to go to church. And you know who tells you today's the day to go to church? It's the Holy Spirit of the Lord. He tells you, oh, today's your service. But you say, but I'm tired. I can't go. I'm tired. But you have seen those experiences. And you get off even when you don't want to go and you come and you receive victory. Because it is the day that the Lord is going to speak to your heart. It is the day that the Lord is going to fill you with the blessings the Lord is going to take all the sickness all the sadness all the sadness out of your heart that's it behind why? because you watched because your desire that was to be with the Lord me and my wife we were talking the other day Well, I really, I really want to, I really want to go to church today, but today's Monday, there's no service, and there's no service, but you know what, you can glorify the Lord, just glorify the name of the Lord, and the days that there is service, you just run to that place, so you can be close to the Lord. That was another gift that the Lord was given, oh, many were... With their clothes. You know, when we talk about clothes, we talk uh, spiritually. Talking. And their clothes uh, were not so good. They, they needed these, these clothes, they were what? But, and um, so for sure, the places that they went through, they were not um, hidden, sheltered. But the Lord was given out the fire tonight. And the fire that is and The Lord said even tonight that His angels they set up fires around us. So just dry all your clothes. Seek the Lord. Just fix yourself with the Lord tonight.
those are those things that says, oh lord, there's not a problem right here, this is okay. Oh no, there is a problem. That's talking about your salvation. Fix those things with the Lord. Because my brother, we're walking to eternity. And we need the Lord to find people like that. Well, oh, bless is the, the servant. Those who, when the Lord comes back, will find them doing this, doing so. Just have your lamp on. He's watching. He wakes up in the early dawn and seeks for you. And it's not easy. If you're prayed in the early dawn, you know that's not easy. And then, and then you wake up and you go and you try to crawl, uh, crawling down and then that's hard, but that's the moment where the Lord is ready for you. It says the word. Those who seek me in the early dawn will find me. Isn't it this? Those who seek me, those who seek me in the early dawn will find me. It's not easy. It's not easy. But if we have if, if we are paying attention to the orientation of the Lord, if the Lord finds us like this, this is a blast from the orientation of the Lord. Early uh, Sunday school, it's hard, huh? Yeah, but we're here. But you need to be here. It, it's been given out uh, the orientations, how to go to eternity. So we need to be here. We need to listen to what has been said <coughs> to follow. It is hard. But the Lord Jesus, uh, He won. He said, Oh, I won the world. So did you. Just like that. And the Lord wants to make his. He wants to make his servants um, his strong, servants strong spiritually, with health, with spiritual health, with joy. Such joy that it fulfills and goes over for those who are next to you. People, they need to see in you. They need to start looking at you something different. They need to call you, knock at your door to ask for prayers. Because when that happens, they see that there is something different on you. You have something that the world doesn't have it. The blessing of the Lord Jesus open your life. So that's why the clothes need to be washed. So that's why it's not enough just to be a good citizen, a good man. There's another gift that said that someone was showing their um, their health report. Uh, report. But he made a he took this test many times ago and a long time ago and it's not valued anymore. But today the Lord was from you this report. This medical exam. And it's talking about the spiritual health. Ready to go to live with the Lord. And then tonight the Lord is asking for a soul. The Lord is giving, giving us another another uh, another call that we need to be at the house of the Lord Jesus will come back if we are here or not and because we don't know what time is going to be over the day 
but we know that soon we need to be ready. That's the word of the Lord for us. This is the Lord that gives me a warning for us to be ready. Amen. Let's sing a song. Stand up for this time. Lord to Jesus. Jesus soon will come. This is the word that needs to be placed in your heart. The Spirit of the Lord toss the church. Amen. We're going to glorify the Lord. Close your eyes. Glorify the name of the Lord. For the renewal that the Lord gave it to you. For all the clothes that the Lord restored tonight. Put 
open the Lord and tell the Lord, Oh Lord, I need to have spiritual health. I need the Lord. I need to be a better servant. I need to be a better servant. Because I want to live with you in eternity. Tell the Lord tonight. Jesus, O oh Lord, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus, O oh Lord, we thank you. We thank your name. We just, O oh Lord, at this time to seek our lives. 
O Lord, receive our, our adoration. Take us in peace to our home. O Lord, take care of us. Preserve us until that great day. <coughs> That's a prayer we do. We put upon you our life, our service, our duration. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The brothers may be seated right now. Um, if you still, if you still have a, still need a word, or you need a prayer, the, the works are gonna be up front. You just raise your hand, or ask someone next to you, and then we're right next to you to go and pray and ask for a blessing for your life. Amen. Peace the Lord, everybody.